Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. And a good Thursday evening to you. 2K Sports presents the NBA. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and our sideline reporter is David Aldridge. We'll see the Dallas Mavericks facing the Dallas Mavericks. And it's the Mavericks to start out. Now, a look at Dallas's starting lineup. The star backcourt of Doncic and Irving are out there. Washington out there with Daniel Gafford. And it's Jones in at the three. The three for Doncic. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Doncic always ready to let it fly once he catches it. Here's Kidd. Nice D from Doncic. And so Doncic will bring it up for Dallas. It's a three-point game. It's good. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now, here's Stevenson. And the rejection by Gafford. To the paint, here's Washington. And that he comes off the assist by Jones. You know, Washington brings terrific strength to his inside game. He plays with quite a bit of force and fought his way into that shot. Pass to Marion. Nowitzki outside. Pass to Kidd. Down to five on the shot clock. And the shot goes in. Kid has no issues mixing it up down low. He's a physical point guard. Well, it was the Dallas Mavericks winning their last game against the Timberwolves at Target Center. On the wing, Irving. And there's the pass to Washington. Shoots. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. A dependable stretch for Washington is also somebody who continues to look to improve every year in the league. The Mavericks shooting their first free throws. First trip to the line in this one. Washington hits them both. Just about two minutes into the game. First quarter of basketball. Right side kid. From deep, Stevenson sinks the triple. And you can see Kidd's ability to pass truly is a gift. And when one of his teammates is open, he is quick to get them the ball in rhythm. Now, here is Irving. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. And early on, they look great. They've made all four of their shots to start this game. Outside Kidd. Marion passes to Nowitzki. Stevenson against Irving. And it's Dallas with another. Well, this man knows how to handle that rock. Looks like it's part of his body. Mavericks leading by four. Irving passes to Gaffer. And in this first quarter, about three minutes played. Kidd against Jones to the inside. Outside for Kidd. Some nice passing here by Dallas. Passes it to Stevenson. Lock at six. That's good. And it's Marion with the assist. Stevenson's got eight points. Here's Dallas. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Pass to Irving. Here's the three. Another three for Dallas. The fire that Irving plays with, admirable. I mean, Starting. you can feel it. You make a three on him, it's payback time. He's coming at you. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game. Every time out, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. And I agree. I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout. Jason Terry has checked in for Deshaun Stevenson. Tim Hardaway Jr. has checked in for Dallas. Now here's Kidd. 
Here's Terry, and two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. Jason Terry is what I would call a lead guard. He's a shoot-first type of point guard, but does a nice job drawing fouls when he has the opportunity to do so. The first free throw is good. And the Mavericks making a change here. Butler's checked in, and both free throws good for Terry. Free throw shooting is about mechanics, confidence, and your mental approach. He's locked in from there most every night. Outside Hardaway. Going inside. Pass to Lively. The three for Dungeon. Mavericks with the rebound. And you can tell he thought he had a little more space, but the defender was right there. You know, that's a trademark of his defense. Quick to react, close down the shooter, and then affect the shot. Nowitzki outside. Hands it from downtown. And the defense has to be up on Nowitzki more than that because he's too good a shooter from outside. Conchich passes to Lively. Back to Irving. Just five on the clock. And the pass to Washington. Taken away by Kidd. Driving the lane. Good on the shot. Well, you got to respect Kidd's decision making. I mean, this guy is so good in the pick and roll and He's comfortable passing or shooting. Now, here is Irving. Seven points in the game. Out to Doncic. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Doncic has got a couple of threes now in the first for the man. Irving against Terry. Outside, Kidd. Nowitzki looking around. 16 feet away, and it's Dallas with another. A great shooter for Nowitzki. The mid-range is easy money all day long. Dacic finds Hardaway. Here's Irving, and it's Dallas with another. One of the things you've got to admire and respect about him is his aggressiveness at the offensive end, always in attack mode. Terry against Irving. Pass to Kidd. The shot is good. And so is his shooting tonight. Three for four. Oh, good vision from Terry. Able to find an open teammate there for the deuce. Taken away by Kidd. There's 39 seconds left here in the first quarter. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Here's Doncic. Some solid defense from Butler. Boy, patrolling the paint well, protecting the rim. That's exactly the kind of defensive effort you need against him. And how do the football? Check out those moves in the post and then the sweet finish to go along with it. Excellent work around the basket. You're right, G.A. Left his man lunging and reaching for air. That was something else right there. Mavericks foul. Luka Doncic. First personal foul, second team. The Mavericks foul. shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Your Mavericks, Jason Kidd. And the first one at the line is good. Kidd, such a great two way threat who makes everybody around him better. What a player. Both free throws good from Kidd. Six seconds left in the first quarter. And on the way from Irving for three, drills the three-pointer. Irving's got 12 points in the game. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over Dallas. here tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. And a high-scoring first quarter. Both teams really filling it up. Mavericks lead by three. Let's take a quick break now, and then it's on to the second quarter after this. Some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play. 
Let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for the Mavericks. I mean, they've come out aggressive defensively, getting into them and, and coming up with some cookies along the way. You know, points off turnovers is something else they've excelled in. I expect the opponent at least to try to squeeze that orange a little better. Deja Stiakovich is out there with Marion. Then it's Berea. Then it's Nowitzki. And it's Stevenson in at the shooting guard. That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. Fantastic positioning there to contest that one. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, he challenged the shot, and you can see the effect okay, on the release of that shot. I mean, it turned a simple jumper into a tough one. It, it really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with a pass. I now I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thanks very much. Now, the Mavericks' all-time great Dirk Nowitzki this summer was enshrined in the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame and received a huge statue outside the Mavericks arena. The iconic one-legged fadeaway immortalized in bronze. Inscribed on the base, loyalty never fades away. 21 letters, one for each of his 21 seasons playing in Dallas. Kevin? Isn't that something? Great stuff, D.A., thank you. Boy, Powell has really good size, and he's showing you there the agility and mobility to create over good defense. Here's Nowitzki. Shoots over Powell. Nowitzki's shot's good. Nowitzki's got his third basket of the night right there. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Those are free points you're giving away. You've got to work harder on the glass. Now, here's Green. Hasn't made one yet. Moving against Berea. The Mavericks pull it in. Now Zvyakovic. Three-pointer. Green with the rebound. And so Green will bring it up for Dallas. Dishes to Irving. And that's a foul called on J.J. Moran. First, that's his first foul. Yeah, that's a tough call right there. And, and really a tough break for the D. No problem for me with that call. I mean, he was still sliding right there. Looking at who's out there now for the Mavericks. Tyson Chandler is checked in for Levitsky. And Terry subbed in for Stojakovic. Then for the Mavericks, Daniel Gafford's checked in for Dwight Powell. Tim Hardaway Jr. comes in for X. And it's Hardy in for Kyrie Irving. Here's Terry. Tim Hardaway making his last shot. Moves back up. And the rejection by Gafford. Now here's Hardy. Terry covering. Offensive rebound. Hardy, no good. I, I still can't believe that one didn't fall. Hardaway against Terry. Here's Marion. Great D that time from Hardaway. The Mavericks leading. Here's Hardy. Softly drops in the floater. Hardy's got his first bucket of the night. And it's all about the release when you shoot the float. Here's Berea. Count it good. Berea has no problem playing through contact. And don't let his size fool you. This guy is as tough as they come. Now here's Hardy. He's tightly guarded. Here's Kleba. And it's good off the back of the rim and in. And the Mavericks lead by three. Here is Stevenson. Eight points for him. Kleba with the rebound. And the activity he shows around the rim is why he is such a respected defender. And you know what? He's not going to give up an easy finish at the rim. I mean, that's just a, against his constitution. Now, here's Berea. Offensive rebound. Marion. And he banks in the lane. They are just killing him on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. you got to play with some physicality in the paint. Here's Green, and Chandler sends it back. Good instincts and long arms. That's how Chandler 
was able to swat that away. Picks it out to Terry. Outside Berea. Feeds it to Chandler. Six to shoot. Pass to Marion. And here is Berea inside. Second shot opportunity. Here's Chandler. He's now one for two with that bucket. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. We've seen it time and time again in games. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. Here's Gaffer after the made shot from Tyson Chandler. Hardaway with it. Pulls up. Dallas, no good that time either. With well, the defense refusing to give up anything easy, love seeing that kind of intensity. Correa surveying the floor. On the wing, Stevenson. Even defending. Stevenson against Kleba. And it's Stevenson missing. The Mavericks trailing. And the wide open shot from Green. And it's off from three point range. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First personal foul. Yeah, the defender all foul. over. He got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. This is his first trip to the line tonight. A different look for Dallas. Novitsky's checked in for Mary. Butler comes in for Jason Terrell. And it's Kidd in for J.J. Barea. 44 seconds left to play in the first half. Now, here's Exum. They need this one. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Second pusher. Nowitzki picks up that one. Did a good job to take it right at the shooting. Yeah, really left him no choice there. He had the foul to keep him from converting the easy buck. It's his first trip to the line. That's good from Exum. Stiakovich has checked in for Dallas. And good on the second, so he makes them both. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Doncic against Kidd. Stiakovich, the pass to Nowitzki. It's rebounded by Dallas. Doncic outside. From downtown, and that's collected by Nowitzki. Butler feeling out of it. Shoots over Washington. The top of the key jumper is on the mark. And a close game so far for the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Everett's ahead. They lead by two. And we'll be back right after halftime to get the third quarter underway. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everyone, to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Some big-time action already in this one. I'm Ernie Johnson, along with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. The first quarter for the Mavericks was fairly even. The period came to a close with them holding a three-point lead. The second quarter saw them lose just a fraction of the lead they held at the end of the first, as they're now ahead by two points at the half. And from what we saw so far from the Mavericks, Kenny, what's your take on You have to love a team that pounds the offensive ground. That's going to gain you extra possession. And check this out. Sometimes just having more offensive chances than your opponent wins the basketball. And uh, Shaq, what did you see from Dallas? Well, they could be ahead in this game if they were taking care of the boards. More possession means more scoring opportunity. A few rebounds either way could decide the outcome of the game. Ultimately, this game will come down to who wants it more. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. You look at Kyrie Irving in this game. He has been everywhere. He's 
done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate with, within the first few quarters. And you know what? It helped that they had a few guys with very hot hands on the perimeter, too. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. The Mavericks leading on the floor for Dallas. The star backcourt of Doncic and Irving are out there. Daniel Gafford is out there with Washington. And it's Jones in at the three. Now, here's Washington following the miss by Jason Kidd. With the teardrop, a shot missing. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. And you know, guys, I love his fight and grit on the interior. I mean, he never lets a shot go uncontested. Marion outside, shot clock at six. Over Doncic. No good off the back of the rim. The defense did a really good job of choking off the middle there once he got inside. Marion welcomes and invites contact. He's one of the toughest players in the league. Doncic against Kidd. Yep, it goes. And the Dallas lead is cut down now to just two points with that basket from Doncic. And it's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Yeah, if that's a harbinger of things to come, he's looking at having a very big second half. Now here's Kidd. Eight points for him. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Kidd's got ten points. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. To the middle. And Irving with the basket on the assist by Doncic. 14 points for Kyrie Irving. You know, this is simply what Kyrie Irving does. Get buckets against defenders. He's a bucket maker. Stevenson outside. Drives to the hoop. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And there's the foul against Dallas. First team. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. Deshaun Stevenson. Two shots. And the first one drops. And Stevenson drops them both. Average trail by four. Anjic passes to Gaff. Outside, Jones. Now, Washington. Off target from outside. Left side kid. That's good, and it's Marion with the assist. Kid's got the lead up to six now for the man. Good pass right there from Marion, an example of his versatility at his position. Pass to Gafford, Chandler with the steal. Kidd against Doncic. Chandler down low. The wide open look here for Marion. And the three ball is good. He has seven. And, and they continue to control the glass. Guys, I think they've simply been the more physical team. And that's why they're ahead. Now, here's Doncic. He's got eight. Over Kidd. Shot is good. And the Mavericks lead is cut down to seven on the bucket from Doncic. Boy, Doncic so crafty and good at using screens and being effective in screening situations. He's a true scorer and playmaker. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldrin. Thank you, Kevin. We all know Luka Doncic is a master of one-on-one -on -one isolation scoring. Coach Jason Kidd said he knows how to use his body, the angles. Sometimes as a coach, you want to run all these plays, but at the end of the day, you not getting him the ball with enough time to be creative. Kevin? That's right, David. Letting him cook. Thanks for the report. And here is Gafford. Dirk Nowitzki getting his three to go. To the right side. Washington gets to Irving. Over Stevenson. Irving misses. Well, you've got to be there defensively. I mean, that's an easy mid-range jumper that he'll typically drain. And here is Kidd. He's got 12. Stevenson passes to Chandler. Five on the clock. Here's Marion. And Chandler throws it down. Seven footer saves the day there. Chandler able to recover that rock and get another shot on. And Dallas calls their first timeout of the game. 
And Greg, one of the finer points of the new collective bargaining agreement, players in the G League Ignite or overseas no longer automatically entering the NBA draft when they turn 19. Yeah, it makes sense. You think about players in college, they choose when to enter the draft. So only right to give pros that same amount of time. Catching up on the changes for Dallas. Karan Butler's checked in for Nowitzki. Pasha Stiakovich comes in for Deshaun Stevenson. And it's Terry in for Kidd. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. Terry finds Butler. The pass to Stiakovich. Fires the three. Another three for Dallas. And how about that quick fire release from Stoyakovich? Just a tremendous shooter. The D has to get up on him, even as the pass is coming his way. Now, here's Axel. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Up there for Powell. Takes the alley oop pass and dunks it down. Got to give it up for Powell now. I mean, he excels at rising off the ground to punch home these alley oops. And that one's good by Butler. That's a nice play there. Not going to miss many from there. A minute 42 left to play here in the third. Now Exum takes a three. And with that, the Magic lead is cut down to just 12 points with the basket from Harden. Defensively, there was a lack of aggressiveness, and it really made it easy for him to knock that shot down. Now here's Chandler. Here's Butler. Rebounded by Hardaway. Inside. And Exum with a clear path to the hoop. And not being as aggressive from the three-point line anymore. That They had a lot more attempts in that first half. Terry the pass to Chandler. Outside Butler. 51 seconds left in the third. Here's Terry. Doesn't go for him. Mavericks trail by 10. 13 feet away. Here's Powell. Good on the shot, and that shaves the lead to single digits. Powell's got four points this quarter. Boy, Powell showing you great aggressiveness that time, fighting hard to come up with that offensive rebound. And Jaden Hardy is going to pick up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. Yeah, it looked like it. I mean, he kind of slid underneath as he got to the spot, too. Dirk Nowitzki, he's checked in for the Mavericks. Berea comes in for Sean Marion. And Dallas with a change here, too. Josh Green's checked in for Harden. Now here's Nowitzki. He's got 10. Berea dishes this to Stojakovic. Dallas moving the ball around. Here's Terry. The 19-footer is on the money. And the Mavericks lead by 10. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on. Here's Wively. Uses the glass to finish the lead. Excellent activity and timing on the offensive glass. That's how you get extra possessions. And so it's Death in the driver's seat. Up eight points at the end of the quarter. They're coming the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. And we'll be back with you shortly. Listen to head coach Rick Carlisle review the game plan with his guys. Hold the ground. Hold the ground. Your job is just to stay in front of this guy. Don't go by. Now preaching strong defense there, GA. I mean, basic fundamentals. He doesn't want to see anyone on his team get burned on that end. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. Terry is out there with Berea. Then there's Nowitzki. 
And it's Karan Buck and Stojakovic in at the small forward. That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlling the inside. Well, they're working the glass, really battling in that area of the game. And that's helped them stake this lead. And here are the Mavericks now. The Mavericks making the shot. Here's Green. And it's Donchich, top of the key. Irving surveying the floor. Clock at four. Dallas needs to get off a shot. And that's out of bounds. Dallas will retain possession. Kids checked in for J.J. Barrett. Substitution. Mavericks also with a sub. Jones has checked in. One minute now into this fourth quarter. Doncic against Kidd. Here's Luka on the attack. Boy, such a soft release on this difficult shot. Doncic is a master at knowing how and when to use that shot. Doncic against Kidd. And it's blocked. That's out of bounds. The Mavericks able to retain possession here. Mavericks making a switch here. Marion's checked in. Daniel Gafford's checked in for Dallas. And it's the Mavericks with the ball. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Six on the shot clock. Kid. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. That's a very low percentage shot. Not good basketball at all. One he probably should have passed on. Kid against Doncic. Jones steps it home. I like Doncic's willingness to share the ball. He wants to see other guys involved in producing. Doncic against Kid. Butler on the way. A fader. Rebounded by Gafford. And the fadeaway was the only option he had on that one. Defender there all over. Doncic looking it over from deep Washington. The shot's good on the assist by Doncic. Three. And now just a three-point Maverick lead. Passes it to Marion. Doncic against Kidd. Irving with the steal. And now Irving pushing it up. No one back to stop him. Good for another basket. He's put up ten shots and made seven of them. The adjustments they've made offensively, they're putting guys in a position now to succeed. It's certainly been an impressive run. They finally found the right formula to break down the defense. Now here's Terry. Pocket six. And just miss after miss right now. I'm a fan of anybody who defends that way. I mean, they weren't about to open the door and just allow him to cruise in for a layup. Doncic against Kidd. Doncic left side. You know, far hard from start to finish on that play. Defended the shot and then finished it off with the rebound. And the shot goes in. And it's a five-point Maverick lead. One of the most impressive things about Jason Kidd and his position is his size and strength, which is how he's able to create for others, but also convert through contact. Now, here's Doncic. Fires away from way outside. It's hauled in by Nowitzki. Nowitzki's got seven rebounds in the game. But still, eventually, you got to feel like he'll start knocking those down again. The shot by Marion, no good. And it's Jones with the ball for the Dallas Mavericks. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. Doncic finds Gafford. Here's Washington. Down low. Shot is good, and the Mavericks lead is cut down to three on the bucket from Irving. Boy, you need a confident player to get you a big bucket. And that's exactly who... Irving is and what he does. Dallas calls timeout. And now, let's present our New Balance player of the game, Tyson Chandler.
Yeah, you know, he kept outdueling the defense over and over. No matter how hard they worked to keep up with him, it didn't face him. His shooting percentage clearly reflects how unstoppable he was. Chandler's checked in for Karan Butler. And Dallas also making a switch. Hardaway is checked in. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, D.A.? Hey, Kevin, I heard Rick Carlisle during that last break talking with the team. Now Coach told us, guys, it's not over until it's over. We asked him to stay sharp out there and to keep fighting. If we lose this, it's on us, he said. Okay, David, much appreciated. First point, you got to give Hardaway Jr. credit, guys. I mean, he's excellent at finding ways to get to a spot and then make the defense compromise. Taking two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Hardaway hits them both. The Mavericks leading. Kid with it. Hardaway with the steal. Now, here's Washington. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. Marion against Jones. And Jones sends it back. Inside. Here's Hardaway. It's good, and they get the go-ahead bucket. And the Mavericks lead by one. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stats here for the men? Well, they've made a point to protect the rim, challenging shots all be long, and the block total is off the charts. And I love the fact they kept the pressure on, really pushing that ball, running it up the floor. I love seeing that. A team staying aggressive, even when they're playing well. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Well, because of his athleticism, Sean Marion is a hard matchup which is why he's able to draw fouls like he does. And the second of two is good. Ten times the game up. He should be in front right now, but he'll be relieved not to have come up totally empty there. Dallas calls timeout. It's tied at 66. 121 left in the fourth. Butler, he's checked in for the Mavericks. Doncic against Kidd. Doncic, no good. Here's Dallas. Well, I like the fire that Jason Terry plays, but I mean, this guy is very energetic. He's a combo guard. He plays and shoots with a ton of confidence. Jason Terry. So the first one drops, and that gives them the lead. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a two-point ball game. He's basically automatic from the line. Not the guy you want to send there now. Hard away with the bounce pass. Fades. Chandler with the rebound. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. To me, it appears he's starting to lose his composure a little bit. We'll see if he can regroup and get back into a better rhythm. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. Well, that was one, too. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. Good! And he has brought them to within two points. No matter the situation, Washington up for the challenge. They'll be trying to take as much time off the clock as they can. Exactly. Expect to see longer possessions from this point on. This isn't a done deal yet, but they have got to move quick. They've got to go all out trying to force a turnover here. And there's the intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock here. Yeah, you can't let them hold the ball. It's just no post last seconds away. No, you got a foul. I mean, it's going to come down to free throws here. Foul right away. Right on the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. Normally, Kidd is pretty consistent from the line, but will that still be the case in the court? Two-possession game now, guys. Some very important free throws there. Dallas calls timeout. They're down by four. 19 seconds left in the fourth quarter. What's your take, guys? They're trying to stay alive. They gotta work quickly. They're gonna draw up a play here, I think, to get a shot right off of the inbounds pass and not waste too much time at all. Pass to Washington. A 
again the miss by the Mavericks. And an intentional foul there stops the clock. Daniel Gafford, first personal foul, fourth team foul. At the line for First free throw is good, and that puts them up by five. And so both free throws are good, and it's a six-point ball game. I think it's a wrap. When the game's on the line, he knows how to deliver the crushing blow. Doncic kicks to Hardaway. Here's Exum. Carries it from outside. And the Mavericks call time here. They're ahead by three. Just two seconds left in the fourth quarter. So it's Dallas winning this one. They didn't make it easy on themselves or their fans, but in the end, everyone satisfied. Yeah, I mean, there were some times that that momentum shifted, and, and especially early on. But let's give this group a lot of credit for that stick to itiveness in terms of finishing out and executing that game plan. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Alden. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.